This is the morning news. Good morning, Farmington. Today is Wednesday, September 8th. My name is Lance Williams. And my name is Katie Cater. Bringing you your morning news. Today for lunch, we'll be having chicken nuggets, mashed potatoes, green beans, roll, salad bar, fruit juice, and milk. Are you in need for volunteer hours? Do you like to be out be outdoors? There are two upcoming events that can, you can participate in. On September 11th, Devil's Den will be hosting a cleanup day. And also on September 25th, the City of Farmington will be hosting a cleanup day as well. See the flyer outside of Miss Harp's door for more information. <laughs> Seniors accepted insurance is sponsoring the 2021 Heisman High School Scholarship, which will be awarded to a male and a female high school student athlete. Each state will have one male and one female high school student athlete awarded a $1,000 scholarship, who then will go on to compete at the national level for a chance to win a $10,000 scholarship as well. For more information and interest, hit please see the Counseling Center. Are you interested in participating in the 2021-2022 United States Senate Youth Program? If so, please see Ms. Hunter in the Counseling Center for the application and more information. The application is due October 8th. National Honor Society will have its first meeting of the year today. If you missed it this morning, you can attend during third lunch. Current members to join our Remind group with the code listed on the screen. FCA will meet every Friday at 7.30 in Ms. Dins Dinsmore's room, D211. Well, that is going to do it for us in the news today. We're now going to send over to Cooper Garden Hire in the Car Center with the latest and greatest in sports. Good morning, Farmington. My name is Cooper Garden Hire in the Car Center, bringing you the latest and greatest in sports. The Volley Cards were back in action last night in Huntsville, looking to keep their undefeated conference record intact when they took on the Lady Eagles. The JV girls dropped both of their sets to Huntsville by scores of 14 to 25 and 25 to 27. On the varsity side of things, the Lady Redbirds came out strong, winning the first two sets by scores of 25 to 13 and 25 to 18. The Lady Eagles took set number three by a score of 23 to 25. Not willing to play a fifth and final set, Coach Barron Company came roaring back in set number four to defeat Huntsville 25-14 to capture the victory on the night three sets to one and keep their unblemished conference record intact. Up next for the Volley Cards is a huge showdown with the Shiloh Christian Lady Saints tomorrow night right here in Cardinal Arena. The night will start off with the seventh grade Lady Cardinals at four o'clock who will be followed by the eighth grade team and then the ninth grade team. The Varsity Lady Cardinals should take the court around 7 o'clock. Birdcage, we need you to come out strong and loud to support your late volley cards in this matchup as both teams currently sit atop the conference race. Coach Holt and Redbird Tennis will be back in action tomorrow when they travel to Arkansas Tech University to face off against Clarksville and Subiaco Academy. The action is set to start at 4 o'clock. Coach Paul and the golf teams will also be back in action tomorrow afternoon when they travel to the Bella Vista's Highlands Golf Course. The action is set to tee off at 1 o'clock. And finally, the coach J.R. Eldridge and the Cardinal football team will be back in action this Friday when they travel to Springdale to take on the Bulldogs. If you can't make it to the game, you can catch all the action on live.farmcars.org. Well, that's going to do it for us today here in the Car Center. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Farm, to remember to wear your mask. <laughs>